Hello, welcome back. Tuesday night, North America, Garbutt Games. Uh, we're continuing Masks and Ireland Thotep. And uh, we're getting we're getting close to the end of New York. I'll say that. We were talking before the game how they're going to handle this and that and what. And we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but let's do some uh, some introductions. We can go around the table. Everybody can introduce their character. Evan actually has his character's information filled out on his thing. It's funny. He said he was a beefcake. And I was like, beefcake? You're making that up. And then I looked at the book and it's <laughs> it's true. I was, I was talking to Pete when he made the overlay. But he said, call himself a beefcake. We all laughed. I was like, oh, shit. That's a real thing in here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Evan the beefcake. Uh, but let's start with Megan. Megan, welcome back. Can you tell us about Gwendolyn? Absolutely. Uh, Gwendolyn or, or um, Gwen Murphy, she's a, an artist. Um, uh, originally a, a landscape um, watercolor artist. However, um, after the trials and tribulations of Peru, she's come back uh, slightly twisted. And uh, her work shows it. Um, yeah, she's absolutely shocked that her good friend uh, Jackson Elias has been murdered and is extremely interested in bringing his killer or killers to quote-unquote justice. What? Jackson Elias is dead? <gasps> Shoot! Spoiler Spoiler. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Elias. Yeah, who is this gentleman? You Who's that guy? <laughs> Very good. Pat's just getting ready. Pat, I'm hopping to you next for introductions for Veronica West. All right. Whereas uh, our dearest Ms. Murphy uh, was recently twisted, um, my character's always been a little bit twisted. And uh, she's uh, she's eating the scenery before the world ends. And uh, she, she just wants to, uh, you know, gain as much power power and uh, money as she possibly can through any means necessary uh, until the world catches up with her. And uh, she's going to make sure that that doesn't happen anytime soon. So that's that's her, her schema here. She's a bit of a femme fatale and she's uh, willing to do just about anything to maintain and gain herself uh, any sort of power or clout. Right now, she is the uh, director of the Museum of Natural History in New York City, although she's taking a brief sabbatical, letting her deputy step over as she investigates Elias's murder. And she intends to uh, have her name in the papers when they find the culprit uh, as the woman who found the murderer and uh, cracked the case. She's confident that it'll do numbers for her image, which is currently in the, the shitter, uh, considering many people rightly believe that she killed her husband. Rightly believe, I like that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Rightly. <laughs> They're not wrong, per se. <laughs> the public doesn't need me to admit it, but... <laughs> oh, very good. Jeff, tell us about Louis Salvatore. Louis Salvatore, native New Yorker, uh, from Queens, <laughs> from Flushing. Uh, he... Uh, He's a private investigator. He's a high functioning alcoholic. He's in his early fifties. He drinks to forget. And so he can concentrate on the now he's haunted by personal demons. Uh, he's, uh, he's done a little blackmail work, uh, for the, for the mafia, uh, here and there to make ends meet. Uh, he currently lives above a bakery, uh, where he also has his office and he likes to hang out with like the baker's kid who reminds him of Jaden from his time in Peru. And, uh, and yeah, that's, 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 ba that's basically Louie. He's, he's, he's a, he's a working collar stiff. Oh, and he always looks like he's recently gotten into a fight. Like he's always got like healing bruises and stuff and like the broken nose thing. I kept forgetting about that. Cause I used to say that all the time. Uh, so he always looks like he's recently gotten pummeled or lost a fight somehow. Uh, but that's Louie. Nice guy. Friendly. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Uh, and Evan, who now has his name, his archetype, Yay. and occupation on the overlay in time for him to die. I was about to say, that means I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about Ryan. Yeah, Ryan is a Swiss immigrant. Uh, he's in his probably late 50s, like 58. He did uh, some adventuring with Jackson Elias when he was much younger. And after that, he decided to kind of find out more about the unknown. It became one studying the occult and he is now a library at probably a very tiny library. Um, he is a beefcake, he's a big man, but 
He's been very interested with all the things that he experienced, but he's taking it in more of a knowledge direction than anything else. And he has a new obsession of Juju House because he knows there's something there that he needs to, you know, find to get more information about what's really going on. Right. I think I froze all of our cameras while you're talking because I was clicking on stuff. Uh, yes, the obsession of Juju House. Indeed, indeed. Uh, okay, well, speaking of which, woo, let's go over what happened last week. We had a big info dump last week also, so... We start. We start with the reading of the will, uh, and that's when we found out that Jackson had left you everything. Uh, he had he had taken some of that money that you had found in the in the tomb in Peru, and also the money from uh, his publishing of his works. He's left to you, and he's asked you to keep up his investigation, find out the truth behind the Carlisle expedition. There is all sorts of notes that he had found um, and spoken to people around the world. That there's evidence that the that the members are still alive. People have claimed to have seen them. Uh, you also got a note where it's like the ramblings of a madman were his last few days here in New York. That was his last communication. Uh, and that's the, you got all that information from your your friend at Prospero House, Jonah White, and his secretary Barbara. And. <laughs> That's the really... hard person to talk to, that Barbara. Yeah, she, I know. Get in line. Tensions and uh, high demand. Yeah. <laughs> From there, did we go to Juju House? Uh, yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 We you went to Juju House. Uh, you had a tail on you. A couple of cops were tailing you the whole time that you went to all your different appointments. Veronica did some fast driving and managed to lose the tail. But in the meantime, Ryan, who refuses to go in the car, walked around back to enter Juju House was approached by two New York uh, City police officers who he uh, decided to just, like, pummel in broad daylight, which led to the whole group fleeing the scene as sirens started to blare in the background. And it was decided- like how you say he decided to. Like, yeah. like it was just a, on the whim. Like, it, it was, you picked the fight. They didn't man. walk what? up to me with what? billy clubs. <laughs> They hey, they just want they asked you to come in for questioning and you refused. All right. And they were like, Well, we'll take you in by force. We believe they believe that you are a person of interest when it comes to the um death of Jackson Elias. And are they wrong? I wasn't he didn't even play in episode one. Well, guess what? <laughs> Maybe the police know more than you do about what's going on around here. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I mean they definitely do. Maybe I'm a vampire. It. Maybe you are. Maybe you're a fat sucking vampire. Maybe they're just a bunch of crooks who are just looking to, to screw this guy over. Maybe that's what it is, too. You ever think of that? That's why yeah, cops are crooks. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> Professional courtesy. Uh, so you knocked those guys out. Then you made a call to a Mr. Gray, who is the attorney of Eric Carlisle, to set up a meeting with her uh, to try and get in her house because a vault or safe was mentioned in the letters from Jackson Elias about a book that he wanted from the Carlisle estate. So you're going to get, you're going to be able to kill two birds with one stone. You're going to be able to talk to someone directly tied to the Carlisle expedition. Well, Erica did not go on it. She launched a second uh, expedition to go find the truth and find out what happened to her brother and all the members of the Carlisle expedition. And that's where it came to light and was news around the world that uh, she had found the tribe that killed her brother. And there was a trial and they murdered uh, a bunch of the tribesmen and tribes leaders so you're going to go talk to her, and you're going to get in there to possibly get into a safe, which will be difficult, but we'll see what happens. Uh, sounds about right. I think that's everything that we did. So let's do our luck recovery, yeah. if we will. So everybody go ahead and roll your luck. If so you if roll cotton. higher, you roll 2d10 plus 10 and add that to your luck score. If you roll lower, 1d10 plus 5. Damn it! Did you roll lower? <laughs> or no, what did yeah, you roll? 1d10 plus 5. It's still quite a bit of luck. Yeah. 10 luck. I mean, I started with like 80. <laughs> <laughs> or 70 or something. It was like my highest score. I should also say, if you hear honking of horns right now and hustle and bustle in the streets, we're using Sirenscape. Sirenscape was uh, very kind to... Uh, uh, provide us access to the official Masks and Ireland Thotep sound set that they've created. 
So we're using that on the streams to kind of like enhance the experience, the ambiance. So right now we've got the streets of Harlem playing. If you hear honking and people hustling and milling about. Okay, so we're just gonna fast forward to the next day, and we're gonna prep to go <laughs> see Miss uh, Erica Carlisle, or is Ryan slipping out the night to go to Juju House? Well, he is going to attempt to stealth. Oh man. Okay, so does is everybody staying at Veronica's? I'm assuming. Free room. And I mean, board? she's willing to to yeah. Basically, anybody who's out of is out of town. She's she's housing uh, in her pad. It's it's large. You know, it's a little lonely now that she's the only one that lives there. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I oh think, yeah. I think Ryan would sleep, but it'd be like one of those things where it's like you try to go to sleep, he's just staring at the ceiling in frustration, and then he just like stands up abruptly and like starts to walk out. Oh, so you're, are you going to attempt to stealth or no? I am going to roll to stealth, but I am not going to use any luck. So if he actually makes it, then he makes it, but I'm not going to. I Gwen, don't care if anybody notices me. Gwen, are you staying there? Louis, are you staying there? Are you going to your own respective uh, New York um, places uh, that you call Louis home? Lives, Louis lives across. He has to take the ferry back home, which, is, which would take a while. So in order to keep it convenient and easy, I guess he would probably stay there. Right. You have an appointment first thing in the morning also. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Gwen? I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll take Miss West's hospitality for sure. Okay. I have uh, a lovely selection of paintings that I've acquired over the years. Might enjoy them. You can make a stealth test. It's going to be at hard difficulty, though. I'm gonna so say is that Louis... just minus? Oh, just roll difficulty Lu make it hard? Yeah. Louis is is there be... any chance I could, like, contest it with a spot hidden? <laughs> my chances are not very high i'll just tell you that yeah the chances are okay, not okay, okay. being a hard with a hard test um fair enough because louis <laughs> has passed out drunk on the armchair next that to him i how dare you <laughs> he's never passed out drunk how dare you uh, it's high functioning uh, femme fatale. we had a we had a male femme fatale in our peru um section uh, and they were the an om, om fatale. fatale yes all right so you get up off the couch you're staring up at the ceiling i'm gonna say there's a, well i was gonna say ceiling fans are going but no it's it's winter it's january it's cold it's freezing so the radiator's kind of creaking in the corner banging every once in a while uh so you just kind of you do the undertaker thing where you just kind of sit straight up and you swing your legs around and you get up and you're kind of, you're trying to be quiet, but you knock your leg on the uh, the table next to the couch. And uh, that kind of startles you, Louie, and you, you kind of slowly open your eyes. And you see Ryan getting up and going to the door, let's say putting a coat on or his boots or whatever. I'm just so tempted to do the same thing I did when I saw Tintin try to put the mask on. And I was just like, meh, whatever. Just close your but eyes and go back to uh, sleep? <laughs> yeah, but no, I'll, ca I'll catch that uh, Wait, where, where are you going, that big guy? He's just grumbling. <laughs> That's probably what you woke up to. He thought he was like talking to himself, but he didn't realize how loud he was. <laughs> you got somewhere to be? You got some hot date or something? I need to get into Juju House. We're gonna go there, man. It's just, it might be a, a wee bit hot right now. You know, maybe after the events of today, it might not be. I am super, super sneaky. I, I've got this. I believe in myself. You see, not really, because I'm pretty sure everyone who lives in the apartment below us probably knows you're awake and moving around. You, you're kind of, you're kind of lead footed. He just squints his eyes. What he said. I shot from like three <laughs> rooms over. Yeah. <laughs> Louis maybe not trying to be quiet. Maybe he is. I don't know. Maybe he's still a little drunk. So you can, you hear this. Veronica and, never and Gwen. Drunk. Oh, Gwen's passed out. Okay, but Gwen's passed out. She doesn't hear any of this. What I'm saying is, if you want to go, I, I, I ain't gonna stop any father, but uh, maybe going places by yourself is not necessarily uh, the best thing for you at this time. I mean, the whole reason we're together is because one of the people we know got his guts ripped out when he was by himself, so just for the sake of like, you know, personal survivability and whatnot. Maybe do like a buddy system or something. That's all I'm saying. 
So you you're offering to go with me then? Well, he looks around at all of the fancy <laughs> paintings. And look, and I see no one else around the room. <laughs> uh, I mean, Louis, Louis, yeah, Louis would go and back you up if we're really going to do it. But I think Louis would also probably think that it might be better if more of us went at the same time, especially Seamus or something like that, somebody with sneaky skills. If you really want to go, I'll back you up. But I just, I think it's a bad idea right now, that's all. I mean, we're probably going to be leaving pretty soon, so... You just keep staring. Hey, Veronica, we're uh, we're gonna step out for a moment. Uh, we'll be back. Don't go to Juju late. House. I know no, you no, want to no, go no. to Juju House. No, no, we're just. Uh, we I think we're here. going to Fufu House. It's completely different. It's completely different. It's like it's like a chain bar down the street. They got fancy lights and everything. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah. Veronica okay. West shows up in the doorway. Just don't hurt any more cops. And she storms back into her room. As far as I'm concerned, they, they kind of earned what was coming to them. But I know, mean, maybe they not drew weapons daylight. first. I don't know what, sure, she, what sure, I need to do. Broad daylight might not necessarily be the best time to do it. Obviously. They were trying to arrest me. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's just no. True. They didn't. They didn't say they arrest. They want to bring you in for questioning. You weren't. Uh, you weren't read your rights. We'll see then. Is there some right voice? There that, yeah, the GM. <laughs> this is God. <laughs> I think Veronica left the left the radio on. There's some yeah. sort of radio uh. program going on. Very weird. Very very meta. Very fourth wall breaking. <laughs> At least Late it's not horror race. stories. It's true. Listen, if you want to go now, though, I mean, I'll back you up. No problem. No we'll problem. We'll be like go. real quick. We'll be super fast. Don't. Okay, we can do it. What, what time is it? It's around midnight. You probably heard me slam my door. <laughs> Fair. Fair. You guys have left? Yeah? Are they, are you, have you left? So. Are, you, are, you, yeah. are you grabbing Gwen? Or is it just the two of you? Well, I mean, I, I think Louie would offer for like for, for Gwen. And I'm assuming Seamus maybe had other business to attend to, which is why he's not yeah. in the apartment. Yeah, so he... I would offer to Gwen for sure. You're gonna wake. Hey, hey, kid, you 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 there? You you awake? What? You there? All, all of a sudden, you hear this like crash, bang, 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 crash. What do you want? Do you know what time? Oh, oh it's oh, gosh, it's you. Sorry. Oh. Oh. What uh, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, well, uh, <clears throat> kind of embarrassed a little bit at this point. Uh. We were gonna go uh, step out and take a look at uh, Fufu, Fufu, the Fufu house. Uh, don't tell Veronica; she's very, you know. But uh, we, uh, yeah, you want to go to to Fufu house? Yeah, oh. you know. Ryan sticks his head over and start is winking with that guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It'll be fine. We'll be fine. Got 15, 20 minutes for me to get dressed? Or are we going like right now? I mean, we could split the difference, maybe dress faster, maybe leaving like 510. 510, go for you, Ryan. 510. Uh, this would have been so much quicker if I went by myself. What? The it's not necessarily as effective, though. Just throw it out there. You, 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 you don't sneak well. And it's nighttime, so we got to sneak. Got, we got to creep. I'm you know. practicing, okay? I'm working on it. That's good. That's good. As they're going back and forth, you see all these, like, scarves and things being thrown about. And uh, Gwen will come out. Uh, she's wearing her pants and um, shirts all buttoned not correctly. Her hair's everywhere. She looks atrocious. All right. This is what you get for 10 minutes. Let's go. Veronica West Looks steps good. out of her room, dressed to the nines in a uh, lovely beige trench coat and uh, carrying a, uh, a pocket purse full of probably a big gun. And she says, all right, fuck it. I'm <laughs> this oh, really did not turn out the way I wanted it to. 
it's gonna be fun. More the merrier. It's when you're doing like a snow, a stealthy like night op into a place you're not supposed to go. It's good to go with a lot of people. It's good to go with a lot of people. <laughs> I'm only here to make Numbers sure you really two matter. don't get fucking killed. <sighs> That's gonna be. That's the name of this episode. Is this did not turn out the way I want, <laughs> wanted it to. <laughs> that's now the name oh, of this goodness. episode. Okay. So, um, car to Juju House, cab, uh, walking. Um, what are we doing? We're not taking my car this time. No, 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 not not a second time. We're gonna take a couple cabs. I guess there's only four of you tonight. You could squeeze into a cab. Three of you in the back, one in the front. What do we want? What do we want to do? Sure, let's take a cab, but it's gonna he's gonna drop the cab's gonna drop us off like a couple blocks away. We're gonna walk the rest of the way. So so Louis can keep an eye and make sure no one's following us, no surprise cops just out of nowhere, none of that kind of stuff. So surprise cops, so we you walked your a few details. blocks over. Pop it out and of one nowhere. cab half the way to Harlem and another cab cab uh, the next one. I don't think it have to be that cab, but just a couple, just a couple blocks. Away. We could take separate cabs, two and two, and then. All right, we're getting just a wee bit <laughs> on the what's the what's the word for it? Complicated here. Let's just take a cab, get drop us off like a block or two away, give it some random address that's just you know that's benign, uninteresting, something like that, apartment, and then we just we just walk the rest of the way. No I problem. I would have already been there by now if I didn't have to wait for all of you. I mean, you'd probably be walking, so minutes. not really. So you're so very negative, Ryan. You just you got to focus on the positive. You know, focus on the, you know, the glass half. He full. leaves and kind of like opens up the door real aggressive, and kind of hear the hinges start to shake, and starts walking out. This is a nice house. We do not treat the door that way. <laughs> he just looks at Gwen. Just be like, you ever just, you ever just miss Peru? Like I, I sort of just miss Peru, you know. Anyway, let's go. Maniacally laughing as she lights the smoke, walking out. <laughs> okay, so two cabs, one cab, whatever that looks like. Oh, look at Melissa's getting yelled at by a nightbot. Just cheating, chat now too. I know. First four <laughs> games, then alien, now chat. Now in chat. Uh, <laughs> so you go out there, you hail your cabs, you got your little plan. Um, <laughs> you got your plan. So we're taking one cab and we're going to switch it up halfway there. That's what we're doing. We're going to take one cab. We're going to get dropped off at an apartment complex, like, you know, maybe two, three blocks away. Somewhere that's benign. No one's really going to think too much gotcha. of it. And we're going to walk the rest of the way. Okay. And I, I will be spot hidden in the whole okay. way. Okay. Make me a spot hidden in roll, please. I already, he already passed. Oh, did he? I don't see it. <laughs> oh, does he have 110 or something? Okay. Yeah, I do have 100. Do any of us get to make a spot hidden? You can I'm, all make I'm spot hidden rolls if you like. Oh, now that like we've learned how this game works for hidden. experience. Aww. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that a success? That is a success. But it, you all, oh, you're you all really passed. good at it, Megan. Yeah, Megan got an extreme success. Um, <laughs> You get out. Jesus. You look around. You hail a cab. There doesn't seem to be anybody watching or tailing. There's no police cars. You don't see any patro policemen. There's no uh, nobody walking the beat. It seems all clear. And it's about midnight, 1230 now. We'll say 1230 in the morning. Just be careful around the corners. That's when they like to surprise you and just randomly show up, okay? So just keep your eyes peeled. All right. I'm familiar with murdering <laughs> people. I mean, wait, no. That came out wrong. I'm familiar with ways to get murdered. Yeah, yeah where, where are you going? Where, where do you, where to? In this this ungodly hour. Louis, as a native New York, all right, all right, man. No, there's no no reason for the for the attitude. You just we're just going home, man. Just go home. So I hey, give no him attitude. Address. No attitude. There's no reason for the attitude, man. Come on, you want to dip or not? Come on. All What's right. Wrong with you. And uh, I will give him an address too, because Louis Louis is a 52 year old native New Yorker. I feel like he would know. Uh, a decent address within a block or two of where we're going. So are you going to go, and you're going to give him an address in Harlem or are you going to give him an address out of Harlem? Right outside of it. Okay, gotcha. And we're going to walk the rest of the way. And I looked at the neighborhood maps and I think we're okay. I think okay. we're within walking. Very yeah. good. I was going to ask because you will, you might, you might get questioned about why you're going to Harlem in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, so he goes, all right, all right. 
Keep it down, pal. Get in the back. Kind of crumbles under his breath. Drives hey, Ryan, you there. Why don't you sit up front? And make this boy happy. <laughs> I will try my best to fit. Uh, I'll take the front. Don't worry. No, I, I, I think, I think he needs the extra yeah, I, room. <laughs> I really think you should sit in the back. <laughs> um. So this guy grumbles the whole way. Louis, you could tell he's taking you guys for a little bit of a ride. He's, you know, taking a left here when he should take a right. And he's, you know, kind of driving the meter up a little bit. Way there. That's okay. No, no worries. Yeah, take your time. Take a couple extra turns. No problem. But he eventually gets you where you asked to. And as I'm getting out, I'm like, don't wait. Uh, uh, the lady will get it. And I'll point at Veronica and just keep walking. <laughs> I, I act uh, upset, but uh, secretly on the inside, I'm like, damn straight I will. <laughs> uh, and let me uh, let me toss toss a tip on that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's like, yeah, it's a dollar. Oh. Have three. Have, have a fiver. Have a fiver. Oh, <laughs> Finn, Mickey Finn. All right, he takes five and uh, turns his light off for the night and <laughs> drives away. So, you're about a block or two away from Juju House. Again, it's January. It's freezing cold. You got the heavy snowfall just happened recently. So you're walking down the streets, snow crunching under your feet. Maybe some of you are cursing, wishing that you had taken the cab. But um, you start walking, and you can see... Are you going to the front, where the pawn shop entrance was? You're going around back to that alley that actually leads to the, the door of Juju House. What, which way are you approaching? It's after hours. I don't think going through the front door makes as much sense now. Maybe that would have worked at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I want to find an alternative route inside. So, Might we have the map? Uh, yeah, let me share the map. I guess again. what so, would be the most like stealthy position for us? Now that we've been to both sides. The most sides. stealthy position would be the alleyway. Because um, that's where the cops hide, so we got to be careful. Though. <laughs> because you this are time, on the... Just, hey, this is so Cops Alley. alley. You're, you on, you're on the front street. So you can go to West 138. That's where the abandoned pawn shop entrance is. There are barred windows that are part of Juju House on the front on West 138. Uh, and then there's that alleyway with the, almost like a little courtyard that leads to the entrance of Juju House and also the back of the pawn shop. The two, it's one big building. They're both attached with like a dividing wall from what you saw looking through the window right. of the pawn shop. And yeah, then there's buildings on either side of them. Like there's tenements just like connected to one another. You can't go on the side of the building. You either got the front or the back entrance. And is this a multi-story building? No. Or Good is question. It, this is just single story. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Does it look like are there like any basement windows or anything like that? It doesn't. But funny how it says the Juju House plan of shop surroundings and basement. Ah, uh, <laughs> you don't. Ah, uh, you don't see any uh, <laughs> windows to a basement we from the street level. We could go into the abandoned part, and then I could like smash a hole through it or something. Oh my just god, go that is kind of what I was proposing. Except yeah. we really want to make so grandiose an entrance to this place. I mean, and well, also, if we go into the yeah. abandoned part, I mean, like no, but it's like hobos go in there, you know, it's like not a big deal. <laughs> well, if you if you're breaking if a you wall down into the other wall. place, I'm gonna break in the wall in between the two places. <laughs> And leave your at some card. point. You gotta go into the other one, though. I don't understand the physics here. <laughs> Listen, we could just find a door, I and I can see if I can take a hole the through thing. the wall, and we go through it. I yeah. don't or you understand. can pick that's a good idea. I think I'll just find a door and see if I can pick a lock. That's what I'm. All right, sure. you get one chance, and if you fail, I'm going to punch it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're taking. We're gonna go in through upset. the. We're gonna go scope out the back alley first. Is that what we're gonna look at and try to? Yeah, I'm looking. Be, looking for definitely a definitely gonna for a look door. around. Yeah, doing a doing a, a cursory look over the place and then looking for doors that can be picked. I would like to go to the Juju House door and I want to like try and listen to see if I hear if there's anyone in there or if it is like actually quiet. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. Before you even get to the Juju House door, you're all walking down. Yeah. What was the back? Don't street? go that far. 
Oh my you're, god, this you're the, walking down it's the precinct. We're in the precinct. West, it's, it's, yeah, all of a sudden it's the, you're walking it's down the, the 32nd police precinct. And you're in the you're in the police precinct all of a sudden. No, you're walking down <laughs> West 137th towards the alley that leads to the entrance to Juju House. And up ahead you can see two men, two African American men in suits, standing outside the alley, talking to one another. And then they break and head down the alley towards the entrance to Juju House. Um, hmm. I want... Hmm. I want... Veronica. And I hmm. want Louie to make me a spot hit. Okie dokie. I gotcha. Oh. Louie? I'm good. You're... It's quite Ooh. a distance away. You're squinting. It's lightly snowing. Oh, but you're convinced that one of those two men... He's one of the murderers of Jackson Elias. <gasps> yeah, you can spend luck, Pat, if you want. Or he could just turn yeah, to you and right. say, hey, that's yeah. one of the guys that killed Jackson that got away on the fire. Yeah. It's one of the two that got away on the fire escape from you that night. You swear. Ooh. You okay. swear. So then and I they just, just turn down the alley towards Juju House. No. I will I will I will then very low, quiet whisper that only people within like inches of us could hear. Not so police. if there happens to be a person on the other side of the street, they could not hear over here this conversation. I will say, I think those two, those two, those two goons up there, I think one of them, I think one of them might have killed Jackson, and I'm pretty sure that one right there is the one that fell off the freaking fire escape with me. I know you missed some of this, Ryan. I know you weren't there. I fell off a fire escape. It was freaking heroic. But anyway, those two up there, they were there. They were there when Jackson died. I will take care of him. He starts walking no. forward. Wait, 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 wait. No. Don't I am going to attempt to self Do not be rash. It's a freaking broad street. You got to cross this. <laughs> Good going... fucking God. We're all going to die tonight. He is We're going to die. <laughs> Stealth towards okay, the alley. Go ahead and make me a stealth roll. You start kind of like walking in between the street lamps, between cars that are parked <laughs> on the street. Oh, All right. So like Ryan like just pretty breaks pretty away from the group of you. He's just, I am not oh, listening. And that's okay. I got this. No, no, no. I got this. I got this. Okay. Go. Spend some luck. So remember, if you spend luck, that does not count towards. Yeah, your yeah. That's okay. Just, just let you know. Just let you know. He's a um, ninja. You start walking between cars. He just, like, walks away from the rest of you. But he seems to be, like, blending in pretty good. He's doing a pretty good job of, like, ducking behind cars, sneaking in the shadows, and slowly working his way up. And the three of you are standing there kind of, like, dumbfounded as this big, lumbering man who really is not very graceful on his feet ever suddenly seems to be um, one with the shadows. He's uh, reading a book every, like... And starts, he's reading something and then he like nods his head and then he does something different there there I will, is i will follow up on him if he's going i'm not sure do you want to go stealth yeah, yeah go I'll do it. so what we what you do here typically actually the whole time. if if everybody wants to go what you do is you just do a group stealth and the person with the lowest okay. stealth rolls for the group which i'm pretty sure that is probably Ryan. me <laughs> hmm. um so we can just do it that way we could have taken that as just okay. a group stealth roll and you're all kind of moving up together does that work for everyone sure who has the lowest stealth i have 40. You can get below 20. <laughs> That's probably sure right. 20 is the lowest. Yeah, I'm 55, so it's... <laughs> Gwen? 60. Okay. Man, you guys are super stealthy. I'm the lowest. So the odd car drives by. There are people on Damn. the streets um, every once in a while. It's late. There's not a lot of people out um, on the streets. But there is the odd person walking down the road. And as you're approaching the alleyway you're not quite there yet you're ducking behind uh, a car and a cab pulls up and three more men also african-american get out pay the cabbie and go down the alleyway mm, it's like before like before, so they don't know before you me, get there I they don't see, see you yeah. you're getting close you're inching up but as you're making your way up there a cab pulls up more men get out and head down in the same kind of attire, like looks. They're like all the wearing. Same. They're wearing normal clothes. Wearing suits. Dressed normally. Do any of them have uh, like uh, symbols, tattoos, or anything on their faces no. or scars Nothing. that might? No okay. distinguishing marks right now. From what can you I can see. see if they're like? Can I listen to see if they're saying anything while they're like getting out and? Yeah, go ahead. Um. <laughs> Is there a listen? There is a listen. There is a Go listen. Ahead and make a listen, listen roll. Yeah. Oh, I'm look, surprisingly, I'm looking at Seamus's uh, character sheet, and he's got a listen of eighty. Holy shit! I have a listen of eighty. He's a librarian. Too. He's got to hear people so he can shush him. Yeah. 
you're listening and you can hear the men talking to each other and they're speaking a language that is not English to one another. One of them and pays I... the cabbie. It's in broken English. It's got a heavy accent. But the when they speak to one another, it is definitely, definitely not in English. Is it, is it Italian? It is not Italian. <laughs> now, and roll in, this is roll in. Is it Spanish? Because Louis is an expert in Spanish, as we no, learned in Peru. Not... You, you can all make listen rolls if you want. Is rolling language just to determine what language is being spoken? Well, or... you need to have, well, and to speak that language, but typically to, to know what a language is being spoken, you, you kind of have to know it. You have to have some points in it. Mm -hmm. It's a, it, you know, it's an African dialect. We'll say yeah, that, yeah, I was that just they're speaking. Wondering. You just don't, you don't know what region or language it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But everybody can make a listen roll. If you all want to make your listen rolls and possibly raise your listen at the end of the session, go for it. <laughs> uh, I'm okay I'm with that. I'm pretty sure that's Spanish. Esperanza. <laughs> no, it's Italian. Everything's, everything's. It's, it's I'm pretty sure it's Spanish. Spanish and Italian are very similar <laughs> languages. It's probably one of the two. I'm, it could be. Could be. <laughs> I got a point in Latin. I got a point in Latin too. It could be Latin. I also have a point in Latin for some reason. Uh, okay. So, so Sunday school. Sunday school. You have. You see these men get out, and they're also kind of mingling around outside the alley and then they make break and make their way down the alley you start to get closer okay. and there seem to be there's a couple more men strolling down the road the opposite direction in view again similar similar uh, mo and they also Matt, head down the alley couple questions yes uh, one did they were they all getting out of cars no, so there's two men now that are walking up. Okay. They're not on the same side of the road as you, but you now notice there's two more men, and they're now approaching, and they're walking up uh, towards and, and the alley, and they make their way down there. So not everybody's And how many in total? So seven. far, you have seen seven. Two, four, seven. Oh, God. Well, that's more than us. It's more than us. Yes, well, I've got a gun. That counts as one. Yeah, I mean, I do too, but that's still more than us. <laughs> I thought we were trying to be quiet. What is quiet about shooting a gun? The gun's too. What is Being quiet? quiet. Go ahead, go ahead. Seven people. I got a bad feeling about this. Well, do you want vengeance for his death, or do you want to just sit here and talk about it? I've Not got an vengeance. idea. He's been able to figure out why he died. I've got an idea, if you wouldn't mind listening to my poisoned words for just one moment, Ryan. <clears throat> he starts walking. I'm just kidding. He stays. <laughs> if you walk away right now, mister, I will. Mm, mm, mm. I will not be happy. Um, why don't we look and see where they're going? Wait back here. Uh, sneak on into that abandoned uh, palm shop and just kind of observe what's going on. We can imagine they're probably going to Juju House. If we can find a hole in the wood or a loose uh, board, we can probably observe the entirety of what is proceeding therein, thereby learning far more than what we would learn if we snuck in or something. I agree with them original plan of going into the abandoned place and then smashing a yes, hole but at some point. No, no. Crucial point. We don't smash or make any noise. Mm. Okay, all. this conversation's going on a little long when there's seven guys around here that we know are willing to murder and cut out people's intestines. Let's go ahead and yeah. go do that that pawn shop plan. Let's just let's, let's just go at the very least just to get off the, the street. Click. Okay, so we're going around the street now, and we're going to go approach the front, and you're going to enter through the pawn shop, correct? We want to stealthily get into the pawn shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say you don't continue on towards the alley. You go the opposite direction. You're going to go around the street and forward. Or do, you want to, or do you want to walk past the alley and see what's going on down there? What do you want to do? You, yeah, actually, you tell me. One mm. of us should walk past it to see what's going on, but we should also sneak past to the front. Who's good at seeing? Why don't we send Louis? He's the one. I'm person. the oldest. I'm closest to death anyway. This guy. I am I'll very well. I wouldn't have wanted you. to. Oh, are you really? Himself. I didn't know how old Ryan was. Okay. Whatever. I'm probably closer to death, though. Yeah. Louis that will. That is true. 
<laughs> Louis will take a peek. All right. So everybody goes the opposite way. You put your hands in your pockets. Yeah. You put your head down. You start kind of walking forward. Uh, as you do so, those two men you saw coming down the sidewalk towards the alleyway, they turn in there. And you glance and you turn your head to the side. And you see them walking down the alleyway. And as they're walking down the alleyway, you can see the, the entrance to Juju House. And there's two men standing in front of it on either side of the door that you did not see before. So there's two more men now. We're up to nine that are not in the groups that you saw enter already. And they're standing there and they greet the men. You see them as you're walking by. They're kind of greeting the men as they approach. They open the door to Juju House and let them in. And you can see lights on in Juju House from here. And you just kind of keep walking past. Mm -hmm. Did I notice any, like, particular, like... Uh, any like kind of exchange like and they got up to the door like like you know did they do some sort of like you know Secret password handshake? exchange mm -hmm. handshake thing going no, on yeah negative okay negative. all right so it's more just like recognition yeah of faces, exactly probably. okay yeah all right okay i'll take a wide berth saunter back and then try to meet back up with the rest of the crew over by the pawn shop sure so everybody else is collecting around the front on the pawn shop so you're on the front street uh, there are, again, there's cars, there's the odd person walking by. So keep that in mind. Uh, but you come around the front, you can kind of see some faint light coming out from in between the curtains on those barred windows that leak the Juju house on the front of the building. Uh, but you can't, again, those heavy curtains are on there, you can't see anything. There's no light or activity or anything whatsoever on the old, coming from the old pawn shop. You don't see anything through the door or anything like that. You walk up, you look through the window, and um, there doesn't seem to be any activity whatsoever in there. You got that boarded up front door greeting you. You can make either a successful locksmith or a strength roll, which will be a Ryan, noisier approach. don't you dare approach. fucking try it. We're waiting <laughs> for the locksmith. Looks like it is calling for me. It's just, like, too easy to grab. It's just two handholds on each Do side. Do not... So fast. Do not try it, please. I am begging you with my poisoned words. Do not. All right. It will be plan B. I will wait for someone to fail, and then I will do it. Seamus, who has a 90% in locksmith, has to be away tonight. I, I, I know. Like, the two things. I 78. I'm okay. Two things. That's pretty good, yeah. Seven's yeah, no, I, we're literally waiting for you. I just All like right. the picture. Ride is like a little kid who's got to go to the bathroom, just sort of, like, <laughs> hopping up and down a little bit really need to break this door okay yeah, so you wait for long it takes me to get around yeah, yeah. louie you come back around you meet up with the group of them they're kind of standing in front of the building i'm gonna say you're not uh, what, you're not standing in front of the door or anything to make it obvious you're just kind of like loitering in front of the building at this point uh and you come around louie i'm being very loitering very loitering you uh m maybe the police will come here and break up your loitering i don't know um shit <laughs> Go I ahead. Mean, the precinct's right there in the alley, so they're going to be here any moment. <laughs> so I mean, like, I'm having a conversation with Ryan, actually. I'm, I'm going to make it seem like I'm having an argument with my husband that I don't want people to watch. <laughs> there's, a, there's a dimensional portal in the alley to a precinct. It's you acting. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. So, Louis, you fill them in on what you saw. Mm -hmm. and, I had um, 28 on my locksmith, so that's a pass. 28, wow. 28 under 78, yeah. And Veronica, you're trying to to make a scene I'm like you're... trying to you're, make it seem like I'm arguing and Ryan are arguing, husband. And Ryan, I don't know, Ryan just puts his back to you and is just not interacting with you whatsoever. And it's anybody walking by is like, what the hell's going on? Um, so, I, who, who's who got the lowest luck here? I have 72. Luck? 79. Yeah. I have 87. At the moment, it's me. All right. Please make me a luck roll. A group luck roll, Veronica. Can I spend luck on this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wicked. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. So the three of you are a run lookout. And you're you kind of spread out in the front in front of this building and watch. And you have like eyes on every angle. And um Louis, you go up there and you start kind of, you get your tools out, you start kind of tinkering away, and then all of a sudden Ryan's like, <laughs> as someone walks by and you stop, and you kind of walk down. You I just leave. tie my shoe. Oh, God. Yeah, I just, I hate exactly. Loafers. I hate loafers. Uh, Why don't I get loafers? You go back to picking that lock, and you know, it, you're able to do this 
without anybody seeing any of you. You get the door open. All four of you get inside the pawn shop with any without anyone noticing. And you get the door closed behind you. And it looks like nothing had ever happened to that door. Let me switch the sounds here to the abandoned pawn shop. I don't even know what those sounds sound like. Okay, we're now inside. A flashlight the comes out oh, yeah, of uh, in... Veronica West's big bag. There's a cat that meowed. <laughs> there's a kitten in here. Meow. Oh, and this wind is ripping through. And you're in the old abandoned uh, pawn shop. Thick layers of dust everywhere. Just covering it. There's no lights. There is a back door with a window that looks out into the alley. You see that. That alley, uh, that little courtyard. Um... Where Juju House is. But other than that, there's really nothing going on here. It's bitterly cold. The heat is not turned on on this side of the building. The wind is ripping through. You hear frequent scuttling noises in the walls. Most likely rodents. And there's rows and rows of empty glass cabinets and shelves all over the place. You can hear what a, almost sounds like faint, like almost like a steady beat once you're inside here now, coming from somewhere. Drums? Possibly. It's just like a steady thud, thud, thud. And you can hear kind of loud voices every once in a while and talking in Juju House next to you. And again, it's that language that you heard earlier, but you don't recognize. Can I do a listen check to determine where the thudding is coming from? Sure. Because I was a, under the assumption until you mentioned that I hear other noises specifically from Juju House, that it was coming from there. You, you now lean I'm down listening. and you put your hands down on the, the wooden floorboards and they're almost vibrating. It's coming from below you. Like directly below us, or like yeah. to the side? Uh, uh, below can, you. Can Louis look for any kind of like uh, like loose boards, floorboards, like like a like a cellar like trap door or anything like that around That's here? That's fine. Something to punch open. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my nice. gosh! Nice. Look at us killing five. these rolls. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not there's no way down from here though. You you look this place over, and there is doesn't appear to be any way of entrance below um on this side of the building okay. suddenly really a police down, officer steps out of the shadows and shines a flashlight on you no, i'm just kidding wait uh, <laughs> ryan smash no i'm just kidding no i, I shine officer. my police officer on him there's no you foul precinct you 32 <laughs> he's like why are you precinct, precinct 33 <laughs> what are you guys doing in the oh, break sorry. room um oh, while you're doing which is fine of some cheetos with your spot hidden, I'll say you also go to the back door there and you look out. You see there's still those two men. You kind of like look, rubberneck. You see those two men standing around. And you see some more men filing down the alley and heading in. Um, it's about 1.30 at this point now. And one of the two men standing guard outside Juju House says something to the other man and goes in. And there's now one remaining out there. I Listen. mean, I feel like I don't need to say anything I right know, now. I know you want to smash him, but we counted like, what, a dozen or more guys going into that place. There's drums. Be we have no idea what's going on inside. They've already killed one person. Like, do we've got, I mean, maybe reconnaissance might be a good thing here. So we know more as opposed to just going in guns blazing. Exactly. It was just one guy. I am not talking about smashing him through the wall. We could just take him out. What, why, they, though? You have to think about the reason out. behind things. Smashing serves must be left serve behind. a purpose. Uh, it must body. either get you something that the consequences outweigh, and then I open my bag and I show the Tommy gun that I have, or prevent you from getting killed. What if we... No, no, no. None of that either. None of that. <laughs> What if we call the police on this? We could. We don't know that they're not in on it, though. 
the police, I believe, are. We have evidence to believe that they've covered up this cult before. Or don't you remember what I found out when I spoke to my man on the inside? Marty Poole? What, when's yes, gonna... yes, Poole. My man on the inside. That's what I'm calling him now. <laughs> Never mind the fact that he took me in. <laughs> details, details. Um, no, Gwen's gonna look around at the walls and the the, the sounds of the scream vermin inside them, and uh, like, what what is our plan here? Are we do we just need to get inside? No, we're trying to listen. We want to see what they do and what they talk about and who they are and what their faces look like and well, where know, they buy their clothes and you know everything Jackson's about. Jackson's murderers them. in there or one of his two murderers. Exactly. If we can but find we out are going names, to get nothing. We they speak a language none of us understand. They're just going to beat drums and we'll never know anything. It's just going to be us. Faces are a language we all understand. And I'm good with faces. We could try to get over inside and see and peek in, and see what's going on. Is there any way to get on the roof of the Juju house and see oh. if there's like a way? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was something I was gonna ask. Oh, I felt yeah. like it'd be a little. You could. Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, sure. you could go into. Hmm. You could pile up some garbage cans. Maybe try to climb and climb your way up. You could maybe go into one of the tenements next door and get out through a window. There's not gonna be a fire escape on that side of the building. It's gonna lead onto the roof of Juju House, so you're gonna have to get out a window. Or we could try to lure the guy who was out in the alley away in some way and get a few of us to sneak inside, see if we could at least peek in the door, see if it's even something we could potentially do. This is dangerous, though, because we know there's so many in there. The other thing we can do is we can just sit, listen, watch, learn. I mean, it's a boring job, but this is what I do. It's my day job right here. And then I... when the killer leaves, we follow him we until kill. he's by himself. But they're all affiliated now. Why does it matter if you just get the killer? They're all together. Shut up. We're trying right, to listen. What's your, what's your plan here? This, they, they, they outnumber us by a significant margin. They're, they're equipped to fight. They, they, know the, they know the area. Like, we go in there. I mean, if we go in there too brazen, we ain't coming out. So I, I don't understand what you're, what you're trying to accomplish here. Also, this ain't, this ain't, you this ain't the comics. Illegal. We're real people. You know, this ain't the comics. This isn't some. This isn't some some movie picture or something like that. Or you mean we're not pulp heroes or anything? I mean, it's a little. I don't feel that pulpy. <laughs> the only pulp is the pulp I like in my mimosas, and I want to live to see another one of them. So let's not. Uh, Blow the place okay, up. Okay, look, how about this? We wait until they leave. I smash a hole in the floor, and then we drop down when they're gone, and then we go rummage. Totally, but also let's watch what they're doing while we've got the opportunity. Sure, we can't see anything. Okay, I would like to look around for, like, a loose um, a loose wooden um, beam or something, something that lets in the light, something that would indicate that there is uh, a way to peer into the other room. And if there isn't, I'm pretty sure I can make one. I was going to say, well, with Louis spot hidden, when he's looking for loose floorboards and things like that, he didn't find, I would have said that would have been covered in all of that, that search, and he um, didn't uncover anything. That's so, why um, I'm saying this stuff. The so voice no... told us there's nothing to look through. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we can make something. As I said, we're resourceful people, aren't we? Haven't you ever made a peephole before? Why Aren't would you Boy I Scouts? make a peephole? We carve a hole in the wall and we peer in. We make sure to cover the hole with our eyes so that we don't let the uh, folks on the inside know that we are uh, peeping in. So you've been chatting for about 10 minutes, kind of coming up with a plan between the, the, the three of you or four of you. I think we've been shouting, but yeah. You've been shouting. Uh, and the, all the while, I'm going to say, Louis, you've still been kind of like walking out through the window and all that. And um, in this time, the the last remaining man that was standing outside Juju House has now gone inside. And there's nobody left in the courtyard. The alley's clear. All right. Well then. 
Do you want to? Peek um... inside? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. And why don't I stand in here as a uh, backup? Sure, sure, that sounds fine to me. Alrighty. All right. Well, you wanted to go in. Let's go in uh, quietly. We'll see. So, yeah, like at this point, yeah, we'll pro- I'll approach the door. I mean, yeah, you approach, <laughs> the, do- you approach the door and you, yeah, quietly. You kind of look through the window of Juju House. You see lights on inside, but you don't see anybody. Like, you're not obviously standing right in front of it. You're kind of peering. You don't see anybody. Yeah. You don't see anybody. I mean, I mean and you can I think feel we think there's a basement. Yeah. You can feel the glass kind of vibrating as you're standing there looking through. And you can hear it sounds like yeah, now you're closer drumming and maybe even like chanting. Oh god, there is a basement. <laughs> uh do you want to make yeah. me a locksmith roll to get in that door? Because it's oh, locked. you go boy. to turn the, the key or the handle and it is locked. I uh, I succeeded. <laughs> All right, Just fiddle around with it. Click, the door swings into Juju House, and the heat right away hits you. You've been in a cold pawn shop. You've been in a cold January streets, and it is so warm in here. Um, there are knickknacks, bric-a-bracs <laughs> everywhere uh, from Africa. There are like little like toy-like stuffed giraffes and elephants there's masks wooden masks hanging everywhere little drums uh you and the, you, the thing that strikes you at juju house is it's tiny it's like 20 feet by 15 feet like the front the store is there's nothing to it <laughs> uh you do notice though behind the counter that there is a doorway with like a blanket or hanging over it so you can't see into there and you do see as you kind of walk in and you're looking around behind the counter on the floor seems to be a hatch on the fl- in the floor that's open and you look down and you see darkness and just like a torch burning halfway down and there's just stone steps leading down a really long dark narrow hallway underground and it's definitely where the chanting and the drums are coming from I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I am just going to stand here and look and be happy that I am in Juju House. Because no We're one wants me to go downstairs. Happy. Can we go now? We got the Juju House. We're here. Now can we go? now? Um, okay. I mean, I'll peek down the stairs to see if how clear it is. Like how, how much, you know, if how much, uh, how much, how many steps there hey, are before. Hey, Jeff, like, why don't you make me a spot like hidden roll? <laughs> You know what? That sounds great. Of course it does. That's a that's a thirteen. That's an extreme under one ten. Okay. You look down, and it looks like this thing. These stairs go down easily, like twenty feet. They descend down under Juju House in a long corridor, and you can kind of make out in the torchlight. It looks like there's piles of clothes at the bottom of the stairs. You can see light spilling out from the cracks of a door at the bottom of the stairwell. And there's kind of like racks on the wall at the bottom, and they all seem to be empty. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm conveying everything. It's probably just a sauna. It's probably just a Russian sauna down here. Why um, would that be your first idea in your head? Because it's it's fun to think that the world doesn't have all these crazy things in it and everything has a reasonable explanation. <laughs> Anyhow. The, the walls and the ceiling are solid stone and you can see that there are symbols carved into the stone all the way down, descending down. Do we recognize any of the symbols? Like uh, anything from the carvings or the... Oh, no. Yeah. Somebody wants Peru. to make me an anthropology roll to determine. Ooh, I can do that. Oh, the old man. Ooh. Not a, I can't do a cultist. Uh, I mean, I can do it. No, it's anthropology. anthropology. Can we all roll anthropology? Everybody can roll anthropology to try and I determine. really want to see if I can get my one up. Nope, good. <laughs> do you want to spend some luck, Ryan, or you just, you're just you fine? Not really, because we're about to 
what we these are. Beat everyone up. So. You th oh, you're gonna beat everyone up. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> everyone has a lot. Don't think this was gonna happen. <laughs> I really don't think this was gonna happen. I didn't think we were going to go in this way either. All right, so the drumming, the chanting, but there's no one in the stairwell. Like I said, there's a door, it's closed. You can see light peering underneath the door through the cracks door, clothes are stacked up and piled up at the bottom of the stairs, and you can hear chanting, you hear drums, and you hear the odd scream from down there as well. I mean, come on, Louis, what more do you want me to do here? If you want to go charging in and killing yourself, that's cool. Whatever there could replacement be someone we get, in we'll be. <laughs> there could be, but we, you know, all right, man. We want to. You want to go down and be a hero. Let's go down and be a hero. I'm just saying, what would Jackson do? When uh, I think you're you're muted, Megan. <laughs> or it wasn't picking up. Yeah, it wasn't. It was picking up. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Oh, good. Um, what you might call it? Well, wait, wait. Why don't we? Why don't we like? Set the pawn shop on fire, you know. Get them to like evacuate the the building so we can like I don't know. Like, I feel but we like need to know what's down there. That is, you know what's down there, man. But it's suicide going down there, charging in their guns places. I I don't know what's up in your Swedish head, thinking that you can go down there, punch your way through this, possibly get eaten. We've seen things, man. Seen some really crazy shit. And I am, I for one, like, I love, I love Jackson. Like, he's like right up there, like my favorite uncle kind, kind of guy. But I am not going to rush in and die for nothing. It is oh, for him. It is for something. Chip. You hear a woman scream. He starts to head downstairs. Fuck you. <laughs> What? I made like a paladin <laughs> character. What do you want me to do? <laughs> no, that was diegetic. I love you so much. Out of character. <laughs> My character, to be clear, doesn't like you or your operations. Right. Me? Love it. Love it. Keep you're, going. <laughs> you're creeping down the stairs. The sound, the chanting is getting louder and louder, more furious broken up by the odd scream drums are pounding you don't even need to make me a stealth roll going down these stairs like any sound you make is is covered by the the intense sound coming from there there's definitely more than seven or nine or whatever the hell number of people you counted there has to be more with the sound that you hear coming out of that that room down there yeah he's going cautiously he's not being like you know yeah a bull, but he's waiting till he, I don't know if anyone's following him. He's just going until he gets to the door. Yeah, and like I said, you don't have to roll because the sound of your footsteps are, is covered. Do you want to get to the bottom and crack? Yeah, there's a wooden door there. It's also got runes and markings inscribed all over it. Do you want to go ahead and open it up a crack and see what's going on in there? Yeah. You open the door crack. Is anybody else with him, or is he solo? That depends on how much uh, this has all been related to uh, my character, who was standing in the doorway oh, of the pawn shop. Oh, yeah, that's right! Veronica's still in the pawn shop. Is anybody gonna go get her? I'm not I'm not in the pawn shop. I'm standing the in the doorway of it. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go, Confei. Do not believe what that's what that Swiss idiot is doing. Swiss. <laughs> did, did he fucking go? I will fucking kill him. <laughs> Don't it be? Mm. There like any like heavy metal or like a like a wrench or like a wood stick or something? I pull out my handgun and the other one I pull out my Tommy gun. Which one? <laughs> Both? I don't know. Fuck! Is it that serious? Dude, there's like, there's there's it's hot. It's this is <laughs> that's what you say. It's hot. <laughs> out of all the things happening, it's so hot. <laughs> Me holding up two guns. You, <laughs> the seasoned investigator. <laughs> Fade to black. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> There's chill. Yeah, no. Um, so uh, she shoves them both back in her pocket and she's like, God damn it. And she's fuming uh, after Louis. Louis, I thought you were taking care of this. Do you see me going down the stairs? <laughs> this! is what I meant by taking care of this. 
how many times do I have to say this and mean him and nobody gets it? I don't know you, lady. I don't know your shorthand. So, you know, now's not the time to blow your lid. We got like a whole mess load of cultists downstairs and this this caveman, as you rightly put it, Oh, come on. The bloody cult. They're doing chanting. We have people screaming. There's freaking things on the wall. What the hell do you think this is? Yeah, I'm not we either go down with them. We either go down with them. Or we find someone else to help us with the investigation <laughs> <laughs> the checks and wants. Uh, he has to have another close friend, right? Another one in the will. Someone really close to have him. like a twin brother. <laughs> All right. So the, the oh, three God. of you are talking up there. You're deciding what to do. Ryan, you get to the bottom and you crack the door open. And you peer in and you see the room is filled with men. And they're the ones who arrived, disrobed. They're all wearing headdresses with these like, it almost looks like these red felt tongues hang down. And they're dancing. A number of them are dancing. They're all chanting. There are ones beating drums also. And you kind of, you through the crack, you start looking around the room. It looks like there's easily 30 people down here. And they're all in the midst of some sort of ritual or something. You also notice there are two people in here who do not belong. And they're chained to 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 pegs in the floor. And that's where you're hearing the screaming from. From the woman. And these people are dancing and chanting all around them. On one corner you see a man. He's wearing a feathered robe. And an elaborate headdress. In the middle of the headdress, you see a tongue hanging down just like the others, but this almost appears to be a real petrified tongue, not like pieces of felt like the others. He also has what appears to be lion's claws he's wearing on his hands, like ones that came from a real lion, and he's wearing these over his hands, almost like gauntlets. And he's standing there during all of this, and he's chanting out loud like he's performing some sort of ritual. And you can't quite make out what he what he's saying, but one word does stick out. It's Nyarlathotep in all of his chanting. Is that the first time I've ever heard that Ryan's ever heard that word? I want to say yes. Behind him appears to be like almost like a well, a large well, like 10 feet across in diameter each way. Big, but on top of the well is a large rock covering it up, and there's a winch attached to the rock it looks like it could be hoisted up and open up and, and reveal this well other than that the room is wide open there's drums along the back walls along the side walls and on the opposite end of the room from where the door is that you're at you can see what appears there might be like an alcove there's 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 skins from an animal hanging over and blocking some sort of entrance to another area or another room in there and these and all these people are just completely engrossed and involved in this ritual that they're performing. But there's easily 30, if not more, in there. Hmm. Does it look like the the um, the area is underneath the pawn shop as well? Or is it yes, just... it's... Well, I don't, you're not there. Uh, you don't know. You're not... Unless you went down the stairs. But yes, Louis closes the trap door and walks away and leaves right down there. There we go. (laughs) See you. Do I see if they're armed? (laughs) Like, are any people of them armed? Are they just, like, chanting and... They're disrobed, wearing headdresses, chanting. They don't appear to be armed. From what you can tell. Okay. And do I think with, like, everything going on that I could move around without anyone really noticing me? Or... It, no, 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 no. Is it so tight in It's there? tight, it's cramped. Like, people are packed just, like, shoulder to shoulder, and they're just going through this insane ritual dance. It looks like they're, like, lost their minds. All you're standing there watching also, you see the man who's dressed in the, the headdress and the robe, the feathered robe. He starts approaching the woman who's screaming from time to time. And he takes that lion claw gauntlet that he's wearing and he starts to press it against her forehead, drawing blood as it trickles down. And he oh. makes out that symbol that was on the forehead of Jackson Elias. You saw the pictures of it. Even though you weren't there, you yeah, saw yeah. the pictures. 
and she's screaming for mercy. And next he turns to the man chained up next to her, and he starts to do the same. He will bust open the door. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. This uh, is... Why did you let him do this? I can't stop him. <laughs> I can't stop him. Uh, you're going to kick the door open? I mean, yeah. Not you. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, he has this a sword out, a new character but he's tonight. not. Uh, Why didn't you roll animal handling? <laughs> Chained. Yes, they're chained. They're chained. Uh, okay, you kick the door open and all of a sudden everyone's attention breaks and the whole room looks to you and the man wearing the robe points to you and he shouts something in another language and all of the people that were playing the drums and dancing and chanting this room are all going to rush towards the stairs towards you. So I will, like, yeah, after I do that, he'll back up to where it's like a hallway, right? So people are going in single file to get to him. Yes. <laughs> and he will batter up. Batter up. Um, so the rest of you are at the top of the trap door and see him kick a door in. And all of a sudden there's yelling and shouting and screaming and men start piling into the stairwell. God fucking damn it. Welcome to Pulp Cthulhu. Megan, uh, do you have a gun? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have paintbrushes. <laughs> oh, sorry, Gwen, do you have a gun? <laughs> oh, okay, let's figure out initiative here. Uh, you don't have a gun, right, Ryan? No, he just has his... What are you, 60? What was you? What was the last time? It's your dex. My dex is 50. 50, oosh. Um, what's your, your dex, um, Veronica? Um, my dex is 70. 70, and then what is it you get for having a weapon? It is plus 50. Ooh. 50, okay. We get plus 50 for holding a weapon out? For, uh, no, for holding a firearm. A oh, wow. Ready to firearms initiative? go at That's dex crazy. plus 50. Okay, um, Louie, what about you? 130. <laughs> Holy moly. And Gwen, you did not have, you don't have a firearm, right? Just 90. 90? Jesus. <laughs> nice. Hurrah. Wait, but do you have a, do you have a gun on you at all, Gwen? No. I mean, you could hand okay, my, my character there. did ask you that. And uh, if you say no, she hands you her handgun and she she's wielding now her Tommy gun. Are, are, are you sure? Like, I don't, I, I'm not very good with a, with a, with a gun. Don't worry, I can rebuild it if you break it. I've done it before. Don't ask. Oh, did you guys, the hatch is open or closed? It's open. Okay. It's open, yeah. If I type yeah. in the chat, it's just a joke. Is it though? Though I am considering it, and then just setting the whole place on fire. So the rest of you don't know how many are down there. We know there's more than we can handle. That's this why is, I brought the Tommy gun. This is true. They're also coming in single file naked at me, so I don't think it's going to be... Are they? Unless, unless they have guns I'm hidden sorry. somewhere. I'm sorry. I really think you're misjudging the situation. I do, like, too. I really I do, too. Cthulhu. This isn't D&D 5th &D edition. Yes. This is Call of Cthulhu. We are pretty damn deadly. I would still do it, There's though, no reason. regardless. That's no fun, though. It's like, um, with the character that's willing to go into this drag us all with you y'all can leave you could and you could burn the place down um okay so it's tempting uh i mean if anybody's going to pull the coward's retreat so a number of them have piled into the hallway they're like clamoring and climbing over each other in a frenzy to get to you ryan it is not single file they're pushing each other's side their shoulder shoulder they're, and they're they're just dog piling into this stairway to get to you they're not just going to walk in one at a time. Oh, okay, you're dead. Drop and go in. No, they are being ordered by whoever that priest is in there to just rip you to shreds. Uh, Louis, you see just the, the, the hallway, the stairwell just to just explode with people. There's way more than what you saw enter. All of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're just clawing and clamoring to get at Ryan and screaming in some language you don't know. Is it Spanish? It is not Spanish. I have a 17 in Spanish, man. <laughs> okay. 
What do you want to do? Do you want to shoot? What do you want to do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to shoot him, and I'm going to be screaming to get the hell back. Get the hell back. We can close the door and get the hell out of here. And I will, I will shoot uh, as best I can to try to cover him. Uh, but I'm like at the trap door, and I'm, I'm like Louis expecting him to fall back. Like so, he's firing. He's firing as best he can. Okay. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and shoot. Wow. So, do you roll from the ranged weapons, or do you roll the skill? I don't remember. Is it sense. programmed on your character sheet? Did I program the gun on there? Because I think if you click the gun, I have then... a forty-five automatic. Yeah. You can roll from the skill. That's fine. It says. Yeah, it says I need to like have like a target or something. So yeah, I'll just do I'll just do pistols because it's only a gun. I, I'm I'm a I just do pistols with him. Um, all right, so handgun. Oh, that's a success. Ooh, oh my. <laughs> okay, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Um, roll an extra die for damage. What is it? A D10 plus two or D it's a D10? Yeah. Uh, add a D6 a D10 on there. D10 plus two. D6. Yeah. So seven damage two, or eight total. Eight total. Eight what do these guys have for hit points? All right, you, your your gun shoots. Everybody's kind of startled. Even the cultists are startled by the sound of your gun, and a bullet rips through one man. It goes like right through his shoulder, clear through. You can hear it ping off of the stone wall. He's bleeding profusely, but he's still up. It wasn't enough to take him down. And he's clamoring now, covered in blood towards Ryan. Now, Matt, did the bullet go through him and then <laughs> and into, into the like next three one or four other one. people? Yes. No? And, <sighs> and then all of a sudden a portal opens behind you and police officers are... Po <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, maybe they'll help us. Our nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in our stomping grounds? Okay. Um, okay. Didn't seem to stop them. Next, let's jump down to Veronica. What are you on? Do you, do you have your Tommy gun or are you just... <laughs> Um, okay, wait, so, like, actually, um, <laughs> definitely, definitely, like, no takesy-backsies is in, in play here, because I totally said I handed her my handgun, but, um, is there any chance I could spend this round negotiating with, uh, with Ms. Murphy to actually give her the Tommy gun and me take my handgun back? Because I can actually fire one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a Tommy gun, then? <laughs> It's mostly for show. Okay, oh. well let's let's just we'll we'll retcon and we'll say that you handed her the Tommy gun and you kept the the handgun. How about that? Thank you, marvelous. But okay. I'm actually gonna fire. Fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go uh, step down, not all the way down the hole, um, but enough to see some people piling. Oh yeah, you like, see them? They're just blind rage. Yeah, I'm not fucking around with that. All right, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll me damage. You just you had the handgun. We'll just do a d10 plus two for yours as well. It is indeed a d10. Uh, there we oh, are. nice. Wait, wait, did I really? Damn. Are you doing the same target or a different one? Um, let's just go with the same target because I feel like we should probably kill at least one of these fuckers. All right, one of them drops. Good, cool. I feel like I've accomplished something. I'm gonna go back up the stairs now. I need some fight music here. This is too... <laughs> Down one bullet. <laughs> there we go. How do I knock myself down one? Th there's bullets in the Tommy gun, right? Oh, yeah, 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 no, it's fully loaded. My, my, my homegirl doesn't fuck around. Okay. Well, next up is... Gwendolyn with a 90. What? Uh, so I'm going to try and... Is this it's gun? firearms... Yeah, it's SMG? Firearms submachine gun. SMG, which yeah, only SMG. Which has a base 15. Oh, it's SMG? <laughs> it is. Everybody has it at a base 15, uh, which includes me. You can just drag it on your character sheet or enter it. Just uh, roll, roll me a, a, the D100. Roll me a percentile. He's, and you want to get 15 or under to hit. I can just hit the button. Oh, you got the button? All right. So you just start firing wildly. You aim for the, the, 
<laughs> the hatch, but you're not prepared for the kick on this thing, and you start spraying Juju House with bullets from this gun through the walls, up through the ceiling, before you kind of take your finger off the trigger, and you're like, holy shit, like, what did I just do? <laughs> ah! Uh, 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 sorry? Don't Ooh. apologize to them. Whenever you fire a, a Tommy gun, remember... You will never have to apologize to the people on the other end of that gun, ever. Okay, uh, next is the cultists. We're gonna try and clamor at, uh, poor Ryan. We're gonna get a few of them trying to attack him here. First one, like, lunging at you. Hits you with an extreme success. The three, the next one. Hits. Say three can get you. All right, all three are going to are going to succeed, so you can attempt to avoid one of them. So we've got that cheat sheet, that handy cheat sheet that I gave out before the session last time with melee, where you can choose to dodge, do nothing, fight back, or flee. There's fighting okay. maneuvers. So um, fight back is just me defending from it. Yeah, so highest what levels what of success wins. Draw equals initiator wins. So initiator would be me in this instance. Both fail, no damage is inflicted. So you roll close combat to try and stop one of them. So do you want to oh, try I do and... succeed my role, that's it? Yes. Okay. Highest level of success wins. So like my three is is uh, like two or three stars. My 25 is two stars. My 49 is a one star. Oh, so I should might as well do the 49 then, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you win that one. So now you get to decide. So there's fighting maneuvers. Decide what outcome you're trying for. Disarm, knock down, compare build, maneuver, no bonus. Yeah, I guess push I'll guy. try and bowling ball him down, like, to try and knock people down. Like, trip people behind him that are trying to run up. Okay. Uh, very good. And I'll roll damage for the other ones that hit you. I did not think this was going to happen. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. To be I had honest, that it wouldn't. T TBH... Y'all prepped the fancy dinner at the Carlisle house, didn't you? <laughs> I Well, I prepped for this also, but I did not think this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Ah, fuck. I can you see take for it. eight points of damage between the two attacks, and you push that one man back, and he falls on top of two others that were going to clamor up on you uh, next, and they kind of shove him to the ground, and people and the others start piling over him, mm, trampling him in the... 20 luck, so I take zero damage. Oh, I'm going to eat that luck, don't you worry. Uh, next it's over to you. Uh, yeah, I will just whack whoever's closest. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. We got the action music Does happening. Work? Now, does that work? Does it work? Yeah. Nine damage. It was a 90, th or I'd succeed. I don't know where it went. The success just disappeared. So Matt, he can he can both take the fighting maneuver on this round and attack at the same time. Oh no, you're right. You're right. I think those are yeah. I think yeah. So you so you could have yeah. either pushed that guy back or you get your attack. Thank you, Jeff. That's right. Yeah. So uh, do you want to just, just... kind of retcon that and? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll roll one more damage on you. I'll eat some more of yours. Well, no, but I can still defend myself though. Four right? more damage. I can't defend myself and attack or. So yeah, I mean I'm I'm trying to read the, the cheat sheet right now. That's what I'm kind of confused about. If you can... I, would, I would assume yeah. is his, um, the pushing of the dude was uh, because he was defending himself, right? And now he's coming in and attacking. So, resolve and dex order, initiate attack, flee or maneuver, defender chooses to dodge, fight back, or perform maneuver, attacker and defender make opposed rolls. I'm looking at the flow chart on the on the cheat sheet as well. Um, it doesn't say... If it yeah. Do, do you see it on there? Does it negate your attack? I was just looking at actions in a combat round. So, because was, was he doing a fighting maneuver? A uh, fighting maneuver, like, like okay. pushing someone like that would be a fighting maneuver, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I doesn't say that, like, taking a defense action is an action in combat, so, look, so, I mean, this is just a Nicola Cthulhu 7th edition okay. book that I'm looking at. So, yeah, that's fine, you'll still get your attack. 
Okay. So, nine damage to one of these guys? Yeah, you whack him with your sword, and uh, he's still up and, and lunging at you. I Jesus! Well, uh, I know, they're very tanky, apparently. I will yell, look for some sort of metal, and I will hold down this hatch. Hold down the hatch? Metal? Okay, Gwen's on it. Oh, yeah. He will he wow. will like hold this round, but he's looking to like wait till they find something that we can like jimmy the hatch, and then he's. Please don't to... use my Tommy gun as the hatch holder. You, from the other room, down the bottom stairs, you can hear like a squeaking noise oh, the happening, winch. and uh, the woman and the man are screaming at the top of their lungs down to the bottom of the stairs now. And a strange oh. gurgling noise. You can't coming. exactly bull rush thirty people. No, you can't. But you get out of there right now. Strange <laughs> gurgling. Do not go noise. towards the source of strange gurgling, you son of a bitch. It's just the uh-huh. American Dental Association getting down here, strangely enough. Jackson, is oh, that you? Um, yeah, so he's gonna hold his position, waiting for them to like confirm that they got something, and then he will try and back up next turn. So Matt, I'm frantically looking around the top floor of the teacher house for some sort of metal. We'll have to wait to your turn next round. And by the way, I'm not seeing the turn um, tracker as that's, usual. It's not set up on there. I just got it on paper in front of me. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's jump back to the top of the show. So Louis, back to you. You see more and more men clamoring, trying to get to Ryan. And you, okay. you I mean, like, top stairs, you see this is a losing battle for Ryan. Oh, it was a losing battle when we <laughs> opened the door, but, like, I'm still gonna, I'm not gonna leave him, so I'm still gonna lay covering fire and try to take out as many as I can as he falls, until he falls back up here. So, especially if Gwen's screaming that she's she's finding something to, to wedge against the door, I'll just keep firing. There's no reason for me not to. Hopefully I don't fumble and accidentally shoot Ryan. Yeah, go ahead and shoot. Because that's what happens when you fumble. I know. Oh, look at that. Uh, well, it's a miss. It's not a fumble. What? Well, no, I, that didn't roll. It didn't look like it rolled anything. It, it says it uh, roll hand. Oh, roll just cl- if you click roll handgun at the bottom yeah. there, I think it'll roll. It expands it. There you there go. There we go. Extreme, Extreme success. Extreme success. So you'll get an extra the bonus I gave you last time, whatever it was, another D6 or whatever. So and roll then, your damage. Inflict pain if the... you click that. Does it? Oh, God. Why 12 I... points of damage plus one. All right, you, do you want to fire at the should one be... that that um, that Ryan hit with the sword? Technically, it should be. I think it's thirteen points, isn't it? Yeah, it should be thirteen. Yeah, so thirteen Two. points of damage. At, yeah, at whatever one. Uh, yeah, whatever one it's on him. Whatever sure. like, to give to give him some 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 distance so he can kind of move. Maybe. You shoot him, and oh, another one falls and crumbles, and the others just kind of toss him down. They like carry him down this almost like a mosh pit. They're like carrying up and over and back into the room and getting him out of the way. Uh, Veronica, over to you. Okay, so I want to pop another shot off if I can. Uh, is there anything near me? Anybody? There are tons of targets down at the bottom of that this stairwell, oh. this stone stairwell. Is there Take anybody your... I can see from, like, you know, my vantage halfway up it? You, oh, you're probably down. You see there's probably six to eight men clamoring up this hallway towards Ryan, screaming uh, yeah. furiously. I'm, I'm firing at one of them. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, so let's see. Plus two. Five damage to uh, whichever one looks sure. the, the most likely cu- to fuck up. Nameless cultist number three. Boom! You shoot him. Yeah, exactly. Bullet lodges into his thigh. He looks down and he gets enraged and just kind of screams if bloodlust and lunges at Ryan. Cool. Awesome. Great. Uh, so I'm going to use the rest of my turn to um, get behind, like, all the way up out of the stairwell at all. And, yes. And um, if I can, get behind Murphy and just kind of... Louis? Be there in the dark. Behind <laughs> Louis? I'm re-rolling that, actually. Mm-hmm. I want to be there in the dark. Well, your, your, your action <laughs> was, was, was the shooting, so you can't stealth also this round. <laughs> Okay, fine, cool. Oh, Murphy, Gwen Murphy. Okay, so Gwen, over to you. So you're looking for something. Like I said, there's masks and drums and like, it, it, these look like tourist items around here. Like there's nothing of like note. There's nothing really special in here. They all look rather cheap 
everything for sale in the Choo Choo House. What? What is it? There's walking sticks? What is it you're looking for? You don't see anything metal. Everything's like wooden in here. What about uh, that room that was hidden by the, the skins? What's ah, that? you f flick the rug aside there and you see there is a bed and a dresser and a lamp. There's not much in here. It looks like a small bedroom for whoever lives in Choo Choo House. Most likely the proprietor. An oil lamp? Ooh. See, oh. you're thinking what I'm uh, about. What Ryan's about to say. <laughs> Is it an oil lamp? Well, Alum, well hi, 1925. Hi. Come on. Go around for things that are paper with writing on them. Please, go, somebody do some go ahead. research. Higher low, higher low, Megan. Got cats out of the bag. Call low. it higher hi, low. Oh. Oh, yes. Yay! It is. It is a. It is a kerosene lamp, or an oil lamp. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab that and just like. There's got to be like books and and papers. Uh, Everything's wood in here. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna start throwing masks, wooden masks, and drums and everything else down. And I'm just gonna be like, I couldn't find anything metal, but I got some oil and some paper products. <laughs> There's books. <laughs> there are paper products. <laughs> I have toilet product. paper. <laughs> like loose leaf paper, we talking Ryan about. Ryan looks back Bat at the tissue? torch on the wall. Yeah. And it'd be like, uh, okay, so what do we do? I'll just throw this. I'll just, I'll just throw the, um, the oil lamp at the, um, at the wall beside the mass of people. So, um, the oil lamp lands on said people as well as. The as Ryan. Wall. Yeah, but he can run fast. Make me a throw roll. Oh, I'm about to get fucking doused. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's, Ryan's not a big guy. I'm sure he can dodge this, right? I Megan. am super tiny. Make me a throw roll, Megan. He's like a hobbit. <laughs> they are climbing right past me. I cover no area. Oh, oh do you have oh, luck? Spin that luck. Oh, we have luck. I have lots of luck. Yes. Nice. Oh, I mean, shit. 25 luck to pass. So just expand that. Click. Spend 25 luck to pass, it'll deduct it off your character sheet. Wait, uh... Okay, can I just say that I used it? Yes, I'll it... click it for you. <laughs> there Wait. you go, 35, down to a 25. So you get the top series, you've got this lamp, you toss wood and bricks or books down, and you throw the lamp, and you feel this just like kind of skim the top of your head, Ryan. Just, you can hear it as it crashes down into the cultist, just, just past the ones that are engaged with you, so it's not too close and hits the walls and they start to scream and scatter back into the room as a number of them um, <laughs> are caught in this fire and, and sprayed with the oil of the lamp. Uh, they're not all gone. Uh, I need Gwen, everybody make me a listen roll. Uh, for you, Ryan, it's gonna be hard. This is for the sirens from the precinct next door. All right, Veronica, I'll spend, I'll spend four. I'll spend four. All right, Veronica and Louis, firing of guns has definitely caused a disturbance, and you can hear, you don't hear sirens, but you can hear people, out, you assume, out on the front street, outside, talking loudly, like, somebody call the police, there's there's guns, there's shooting. Uh, so, there's, so there's activity going around outside. You have drawn attention. As far as just firing a Tommy gun and all this, in the middle of New York, you've... you've <laughs> <laughs> you've made some you've made some noise. Alright, so psh, this thing comes crashing down. A couple of these Now are they like just covered in oil, like backing away, or are they just like just covered in oil and still chasing and So there's them? I'm gonna say she threw it past you, so there are some at the bottom that got, not all of them got splashed oil. So some of them did cover in oil and they're burning and they're pushing others back. Like they're trying to escape, right? Gotcha. To put the flames okay. out. So there's still a few that are engaged with you that didn't get the fire on them because she threw it more to the bottom of the stairs to kind of cut them off your original idea I'm, I'm gonna say uh so they're gonna try and attack you they got three more attacking you yes actually no 16 that hits uh okay so one misses two hits and they're all like one star one star hits so i can you. still i can yeah, I can yeah still you can try to defense roll yep yeah. oh shoot i'll just spend two luck i guess spend two luck to avoid one of the or to dodge the attack all right so one hits you 
for five damage. You're gonna spend the luck to yes. Not take damage. Is it is it one for one or it's double? Do you have to spend ten to not take five? Yeah, it's ten for five. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Am so I keep doing up? five damage? Am I eating up your luck fast? You got forty. I can stay yes. in here two more rounds. All right, all right. Uh, well, it's your turn. Okay, so um, I will say up to the top. Louis, I am sorry. I must ask for your alcohol. Need a little bit more fuel for the fire. And then he's going to reach back and grab the torch on the wall. And, like, for this round, I'm just going to smack somebody. But I'm preparing for, like, when he throws the alcohol next round, I'm going to throw the torch down there and, like, make a big kaboomy with the oil that's already down there, too. Yeah, so I'm going to smack gonna, somebody for right now. I don't know. But... It's not going to kaboomy, but it's going to spread the fire. Right. Over. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, Ooh. Critical success. Go Ooh. ahead and give yourself another D6. Well, 14. 16. So you bring your weapon down, your wooden stick or whatever it is, down on these guys. You bring it down right on his head, and he just he crumbles. Crumbles. Like, there's nothing going on there. You, you assume you've killed him. I will... Um, well, I don't know if I can do it this turn, but I will try and intimidate them or see if that scares them with the fire and me just smashing someone's skull. Like, since I've taken zero damage, like, not this just... round. Not this okay. round. I do think, like, we we would be yelling up by the, the for, like, get the hell out of there. We got people coming from both directions. Get out! Like, like That's waiting true. in you the staircase get out? is There's... probably, yeah. Like, go, go, go. Do what, we're, do trying, we're trying to break yeah. away and start getting up the stairs. Because, yeah, there is a tension out there. Veronica, you've probably you showed out the others. Like, hey, there's people gathering outside. We've we kicked the hornet's I'll get to the yeah. get to the top, though, where I'm still, like, covering the exit. But, like, where I'm more towards the hatch. Oh, like, are you going to leave the stairs so that we can shut the hatch? Because, like, I think that's that's what, I mean, at least that's what Louie's waiting for, is for you to get out of there so he can he can throw the hatch down. Uh, no, just in case, because the, they go out, they go before me, so they could spill out if I get all the way out. Okay, so we're back at the top of the turn order. You still hear, like, you hear chanting, screaming, gurgling, hear a... <laughs> kind of scream, low rumble come from something down there. You've never heard anything like that before. Um, go for it, Louis. Thank you, Twitch, uh, for the cheer. So... I mean, Louis carries booze on him all the time. Uh, I'm sure he's got gin left and right in all of his his pockets. I just don't know. How you know, high proof is what, it? Is this gonna burn, erupt into flames? I don't know. I mean, it's not. It it you know, it's it's prohibition era gin. It's really high proof. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm drinking gasoline, man. Um, I guess yeah. The quite I mean, like, would Louis would Louis think that this would have a better effect than just continuing to shoot and just take and just pick them out one by one? Jeff doesn't know, but because it's not like a huge it's bottle, it's like a small. Yeah, it's know. a small bottle. You've, I don't know. I'm gonna say Louis probably never thrown a Molotov cocktail. He usually relies on his fists or his gun. I don't know. It's Louis unsure also. Okay. How much um, do you know about the Soviets? Can I roll a demolitions test to see if maybe he would know? <laughs> sure. Do you have one percent in that? Yeah. I have twenty-one in it, so there's I a one in five. Twenty-one in demolitions. demolitions. In this don't, hole. don't ask questions if you don't want to know the answer. Ew. Oh, <laughs> does not know. No. Nope. You have no clue. No. You drink it. You, you look at it. You think about it. You look down the stairs. You <laughs> take <laughs> pop the. <laughs> You that pop the cork right. out with that your teeth, like... you down the whole bottle, toss it aside, and you fire. And down I off. fire the gun. Yeah, it sounds like Louis. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, hard success. Hard success. By the way, I noticed on your crit, it actually accounts for it. It put the extra d6 on your damage there. Um, Did it? Evan. Yeah, on his last one. So oh, it actually does it for okay. you. That's cool. Oh, okay. Uh, this looks like just four points of damage i think okay so yeah you shoot at the one yeah one of the ones clamoring up at him you hear screaming um you do see down the stairs that there are men coming back to the hallway they have like furs like cured furs and they're and blankets and they're now trying to beat yeah. the fire at the bottom of the stairs and put it out louis louis is gonna shout out like i am closing the door in the next five seconds either you're on this side of it or you're not and that's that's it okay uh then over to veronica <laughs> 
All right, uh, Veronica is uh, currently um, trying to go through the room to her, um, you know, to, to the uh, north or whatever, the, the bedroom, right? And um, yeah. if there's any sort of, so, all right, she knows that she has exactly one round to get the fuck out of here before Carol, anybody so fucking gets any attention whatsoever. There's the map um, again. So, yeah, the bedroom is attached so, to it. So. so she is not, she is not being picky or picayune. Um, what she's doing is literally going to cabinets, opening them, grabbing any papers in oh, them, Jesus. and shoving them okay. in her bag. <laughs> That's also <laughs> unexpected. I thought you were gonna go in there. I was gonna be like, I go through the window. I'm like, oh, those are the ones at the barred windows. No, you're ransacking the room. I'm literally ransacking the person who Jesus. lives here. I'm uh. throwing all of their papers <laughs> into my bag. And then I am getting the fuck out of here and blending with the crowd, whether the people down there are with me or not. And I'm not uh, going through the front entrance because I'm not suicidal. I'll tell you what, um, make me a luck roll, please. Yes, and that's just okay, going to determine fine. what you can grab. Okay, cool. Woo! Nice, double success, regular success. Okay, that's going to determine what you grab and you can look at after when you get out of here. Cool. Entirely fair. I like that. Um, so that was a failure on my stealth roll to get out uh, <laughs> unnoticed. Can yep. I... Can I use my luck to uh, to make that a success? Well, you you ran into the room and you grabbed stuff. So yes. that's kind of your that's your turn because you were in that's the main store. Okay. You went through the room. You went into the bedroom. You started ransacking, grabbing whatever you can. Like you weren't being picky. And I'm gonna say you go back into the into the storefront uh, where they're standing over the hatch right now. But you're ready to go now. Uh, next round. Okay. Let's hop to totally fair. Gwendolyn. All right, so I've chucked shit down, and I'm um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at um, at Veronica and say, if I run out of here, you got your Tommy gun, right? Um, I thought you were gonna carry it while we both ran out of here. Don't worry, I wear gloves, so my fingerprints aren't on that, but yours might be. Wow, DNA in the twenties? <laughs> they did fingerprints. They did dusting for science. fingerprints back then. No DNA, yeah, they but they dusted fingerprints. for fingerprints. I don't know shit about driving laws, but I do know it's that they have January. fingerprints. It's January. It's January. Really cold. Wouldn't we have gloves on though, Matt? No yeah, we probably all yeah. wear gloves. Yeah, you're probably frankly. wearing gloves. You're probably wearing leather gloves. Excellent. Okay, so don't leave it though, please. <laughs> please don't leave my. I'm rich, but don't leave my Tommy gun behind. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm gonna. It was my husband's. <laughs> so my I'm, husband. gonna, I'm gonna pick it up, and I am going to like bash myself in the side of the head. Do You're I? Gonna... Oh. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit myself. Wow. Okay. I know what you're. I see what you're doing. All right. Um. Okay. So, um, what would I roll for that? Roll fighting brawl. Um, oh. but do it at. What does blind do? Um, do move that slider to a plus one, and do it. What would that do? Ooh. Oh, luck! You can luck it. You can yeah. luck. Do you want me to spend the three luck for you? Yes, thank you. Yeah. So do you take the butt of the Tommy gun and just like crack May yourself I actually in the head? Spend three luck for her and and give her pointers because I've done this before. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit there and try to tell her, but yeah, no. We'll spend her three of her luck. And you, are you taking the Tommy gun, the butt of the Tommy gun, and hitting yourself? Just gonna bash my forehead. Your uh, forehead? Or your, no, okay. My, my, my forehead. I'll, you I'll... smash the butt of the gun against your forehead. Blood all of a sudden starts trickling down into your eyes. It's like pouring, it's streaming down. And you feel a little woozy. Um. You're gonna take some damage. For sure. For sure. Um, Three damage. You can spend six luck to not take damage. No, no, it's okay. So you take uh, some damage, blood is pouring down your eyes, and you feel a little woozy. You're feeling like a little off, like lightheaded after doing that. Okay, um, and then uh, I'm gonna put the Tommy gun in my, in my coat and <laughs> go out the back door. Going, fire, fire! Okay, you use your move to go out the back door, okay. Gotcha. You're going to toss that Tommy gun in a dumpster or something? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, there's a couple of cultists still on Buddy in the stairwell here. Hit. Hit. Do you want to try and avoid one of them? Uh, sure. 
Oh, nope. You gonna spend some luck? Uh, Eight well, luck. aren't there too many successes, Three right? Luck. Three. Are they two successes or just one? Two successes. Yeah, so doesn't it not matter if I spend three? Isn't that just one success? You'd stop one of the two attacks. Oh. Okay. Sure. Do you want to stop one of the two? Okay. Yeah. So one hits you for two damage still. Still I will follow the lead of getting injured because I've been untouched this whole time. Okay. So he claws at you and he buries his his hands and his fingernails in your face and just kind of like stares down and takes skin with it, breaks the flesh and like you start to bleed and he just, he looks at you like face to face, eye to eye, this one cultist will call him. And he's just like in a, a, a blood rage. It looks like he's not even in control of himself. Uh, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, okay, so the hatch, I'm assuming, has, like, a lift, right? It's got, like, a, a metal ring that you... Actually, Louis, you can shout down. You can tell him it's actually got a locking mechanism on it. But you don't have the key. But there but is there's... a lock on... You can actually lock this hatch. But there's also, like, a, like some sort of thing you pull, though, right? Yeah, there'd be, like, a metal ring that you'd pull okay. to lift it up. Yep. Then I will run up, and then I'm going to use the sword and put it in the ring to jam it. So if you were to push up right, it jams it. And then I'm going to light, like, with the torch stuff on fire. Uh, the, if you push on it, you just push it up. The sword wouldn't stop you at all. There's no way for me to jam it? No, you can't. There's nothing to, like, to run it through. You could try all right, pushing well, this something turn, on top of it. I'm going to sit on it. And there are cabinets. To... There's a cabinet right next to it. It's behind the, the Ooh, counter. Yeah, cabinet. Drop if you look at the it. map, it's right, it's right right behind the counter. All right, I'll drop a cabinet on it. All or right. Strength or something? Yeah, make me a strength roll. I just clicked the strength stat, right? Yeah. All right, so you grab one of the cabinets on the wall next to this, and you just bring it crashing down on the closed hatch. Buying you some time, you think? Uh, okay. Next round, you definitely can hear some sirens in the distance. What is everybody doing? We're gonna break out of combat. We'll break out of initiative. You've kind of cut them off down there. What are you? What are you all doing? Veronica is going to try and sneak into the crowd, pretending as if she was there the whole time. So there's definitely a crowd on the front street that have gathered. Because there's no smoke. There's smoke. I know there's no basement, but there's smoke coming from somewhere. And a crowd is gathering on the front street and on the back side, like the alley. And there's been gunshots She's... erupting. So she to wants sneak to, uh, out... So Murphy opened the door Gwen, and, yeah. and shouted, fire, fire. And I kind of like rush out at that point. Okay, so everybody sees the two of you. There's no blending in with the crowd at this point for anybody. Even if you walked out of the pawn shop, you'd be walking out into a crowd. You're like, oh, hey, hi, everybody. It's not a huge crowd, but there is a crowd of people that are gathering with the, the commotion. I'm dressed in a trench coat and not my normal attire, for, for the record. For the record. <laughs> All right. I'm going to switch this up yes, so we don't have cultists chanting. Probably we'll pretty to, identifiable. We'll go to the, the cold streets of Harlem back for our sound uh, set. Okay. So you come out. So Gwen had just walked out. She's holding her head. She's shouting fire. She seems disoriented. And you burst out behind her. Yeah, I, I burst out behind her. Oh, goodness. It's horrible in there. Please, somebody go do something. And are the two then, of you, you know, walking towards the crowd? I I just book it. I, I'm basically just like, please, somebody go do something. You, and I'm like, go, go there. To every, literally everybody I see. You push Gwen in the snow and run it. <laughs> you, you pull a George Costanza. Uh, I, I don't, I try not to I'm push her, but like, I guess. No, I know, I'm kidding. But no, you, you, that. you can't, no, I know, I'm kidding. You push past and you just like run into the crowd and you just continue running. Is that your, your idea that you're trying to, kind of create a scene and also just keep running basically i get a block away and i kind of start walking towards it like okay. the rest of the crowd so you so the crowd's there you kind of push through them i'll say and they go lady where are you going where are you going what happened what the hell's going on in there and people are shouting you like what do you need help are you injured and they're they're not chasing you like these are these are just 
civilians, but they're shouting out as you run by. What the hell's going on yeah. here? We heard gunfire. I, I, every Lady, time are you they okay? do, I say, there's a fire in there. There's people with guns. Please, somebody go check that out. There's people still in there. Show- there's people still in there. Somebody go look the, for it. Call I'm gonna the go get department. the police. Don't wa- I'm going to go get the police. There's people still in there. Go, go. Pay attention to it. <laughs> Pay attention to it, not me. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gwen, what are you doing? You're, you're, so we're going to say Veronica's just run past you. You're still stumbling in the alleyway. Like you're in the kind of the courtyard halfway down the alley. You got your bl- the bloody head. What do you want to do? What's your, what's your, your game here? Oh, to, to eventually like, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to come out and ho- obviously holding my blood and like with one hand holding my coat shut so the gun doesn't pop out. I'm going to like land on, on, on the nearest, um, uh, person and with like my bloody hand, I'm gonna be like. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you're gonna you're gonna make me a hard sleight of hand if you've got a Tommy gun in your coat and you're you're leaning up against someone. Is that a Tommy gun in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> that or a roll of quarters? <laughs> to be clear, I have abandoned you. You can fucking throw that shit whatever the fuck you want. You can open fire on the crowd if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> you do not have to keep that thing. <laughs> Hard, you said? Hard, yeah. Tommy right. gun's quite large. They're fucking machine guns. <laughs> yes, it's a machine gun. You could spend 43 luck, luck and you could, <laughs> you could manage to avoid Absolutely. detection of the Tommy gun. Absolutely. He's You're going to do it? Wow, <laughs> I am eating up luck tonight. So you, you kind of like fall on someone's shoulder and... And you hold your coat so they can't see this Tommy gun. Your, your other, like your other arms, maybe underneath your coat. We'll say, like it's not through the sleeve, and it's kind of cradling the Tommy gun between your arm and your body, so you can't see it. It's not really noticeable, and you're holding it underneath, and you kind of collapse and fall on this person, and they're like, "Oh my God, are you okay? Somebody call an ambulance! Call an ambulance!" They start no. shouting. We needs to go inside. There's a whole bunch of like crazed maniacs in the basement. There's there's people chained up. There, there's monsters. The the humanity. Yeah. Yep. Good thing the cops are on the way. Uh, <laughs> Louie no. and Ryan, what do the we two of you want to do? You're in the building Ryan still. Is finding a cabinet to light on fire before he leaves. <laughs> Slates everything on fire. Yeah. Sure, then, there's cabinets everywhere. There's a counter. Yeah, there's, uh, like I said, everything in here is like made of wood or it's like uh, like dried furs and pelts and stuff. So yeah, yeah, oh yeah, everything's flammable in here. Yeah, and then he's going to, did everyone go out the back or you guys split up? The two of them went out the back. They went through the courtyard and in the alley. So I kind of have a long walk home, but I'm going to do it. I will look at Louis. You want me to carry you and make it look like I am saving you? Like fireman style? I think we should just run, man. They ain't gonna do nothing to us. Just uh, run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you will just start running, then. I think we should just run. So the, uh, the two of you uh, throw we... the back door open. They're kind of like Gwen's. You see Gwen kind of like leaning on someone's shoulder and the two of you just book it towards the ground and you start riding forward. i'm gonna and once and i'm gonna fire my gun in the air as i'm oh. running uh, <laughs> God! Like, so you get in the other way you and if that in, if that crowd doesn't yes. scatter no no i 100 percent they're gonna go someone shouts <laughs> okay. oh my god he's got a gun and you just <laughs> and they just scatter everybody scatters at that point they take off they're hiding behind cars they're running down the street and you just hear people shouting, he's got a gun, he's got a gun. You see lights turning on in the apartment buildings, like a tenement building all around you. Like windows are opening, people's heads are come, like poking out, looking at the commotion down on the street now. And the two of you just, are just running. No, I, I dive to the ground like for a second. Like I pretend like I'm not with them. <laughs> and then like I run a different direction. <laughs> Don't shoot me! That's fine. I'll run towards like I'll run towards the park, which is I think it's like to the northwest. And so I'll just keep firing and like for until you know, the crowd's completely dispersed, and then I'm just running some more. Wow. Okay. That took up the whole session. That was unexpected. I don't. Something tells me you're not going to make your appointment at 10 a.m. tomorrow with uh, Miss uh, 
Oh, uh, Miss Carlisle. Miss we got will. plenty uh, of time. Miss West is not letting any of you fuckers in her apartment after uh, after <laughs> this. If you don't beat her to it. I'll take a cab there. It's fine. But Ms. West will be there. I know it's 4 a.m. by the time she gets there, but you know what? It is not the first time she's had two hours of sleep and shown up immaculate to a meeting. Now, when I say the title of this episode was, this did not turn out the way I thought it. I, what was it? I wanted this did not turn out the way I thought it would. I want, he's, he's going I to be uh, Veronica West yeah. uh, fucking... Uh, <laughs> It turned out pretty Falling close to what race. I thought could happen, but like okay. it's definitely not what we wanted to have happen. Well, yeah. we're at the end of the session. Yeah, that, that took up the whole session. Well, well, we saw one Holy of Jackson's shit. killers. We know there's shit going on down at Juju House. I think we knew that already. Um, <laughs> Boy. <laughs> oh, that'd right be a good time for him to go over to like JFK, and, or not JFK, it wouldn't be yet. Yeah. Guardia or whatever, and just like take a couple tickets and get the hell out of here. That was on the Shanghai. Intense on to, off to Shanghai. Yeah, that's right. That's what you said on Twitter. You're going to See Shanghai it. next. <laughs> There's a bar there. Okay, uh, let's do the round tables here. Uh, Megan, did you play any board games this this past week? Um, I did not. Oh yes, I did. I but I uh, it was Carcassonne. I oh nice classic. It's a good game. It is a good game. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm looking to get. Um, actually, here's a great question for our. Uh, viewing audience for those of you fantastic folks who have had a chance to play carcassonne which expansion pack is your favorite and why oh Next snap time. answer that also the youtube comments oh, yes absolutely please put that in the comments please not just not just live but we'll take the youtube comments as well and then we'll see next week what everybody's what the the winner is people's favorite uh, I played Mansions of Madness this last. Speaking of Cthulhu, I played Mansions of Madness this past weekend. It was fantastic. I played it for the first time, so I can't wait to play more. Uh, I was going to call you Veronica Pat. <laughs> Pat, what do you got going on this I'll week? I'll try to be really quick. <laughs> I'll try to be really quick. Okay, so Diesel Shot is the channel that I co-run. Uh, we run games practically every night. Uh, let me get this started. EST. From here on out. 8.30 to whenever on Mondays, we have high roads. 10 to 12 EST, mind you, on Tuesdays, I'm here on Garblog Games playing this lovely game with this lovely character that I've grown to absolutely adore. And uh, you know, when, when inevitably uh, she succumbs to madness, that will be very fun to RP because God, she is insane. I love her so much. Uh, this is great. Um, so tune in next week on Tuesday, wink, wink. Um, Wednesdays, we have a sponsored game sponsored by Fool's Moon Entertainment, uh, 7 to 9 on Diesel Shot. And um, Thursdays, 12 to whenever, or sorry, uh, 8.30 to whenever, uh, we play Uranium Fever, our Fallout RPG, custom TTRPG, made by my co-runner lee uh called aqua diesel age if you come by on thursday we can explain that to you um friday uh we don't do much uh on diesel shop but on garblog games you will find me playing a vampire the masquerade uh and i'm playing a marvelous character tune in friday garblog games for est to around 7 est Sunday or Saturday, uh, we are finally getting around to the Change Stars uh, drones episode. Uh, we canceled last week due to a last minute cancellation. Uh, it was just past postponed. It's going to be going on Sunday, 9 to 12 EST. And on Monday, I've already done that. So that's my spiel. Awesome. Uh, Jeff, what do you got going on the rest of the week? Friday. Uh, we are hitting our, uh, over on twitch.tv slash lollygaggers, we are hitting our part two finale of Impossible Landscapes for Delta Green. It's like the midway point of a fairly big campaign and things are just going to go crazy. Uh, Saturday, uh, we are going to be starting up, not this Saturday, but probably the following one. We're starting up our, our uh, Blades in the Dark. Uh, I've been, we've been converted, uh, thanks to both Matt and Evan. And then, uh, and then Monday, we're back to Ultraviolet Grasslands uh, over on our channel. 
Uh, and uh, tomorrow night I'll be on Defenders of Cobalt playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Awesome. And that's it. Evan, what do you got going on this week? Uh, nothing else. I'll be returning to Aliens probably in two weeks whenever you guys finish this next mission. Okay. Um, so you can check us out at Free League Games at 9 o'clock Central. I'll be playing another character because Matt River just Bee. wants to kill a new River Bee, the Grandma I... River Bee. I don't roll the in, the critical table. I don't, the Jeff, oldest don't either, river right? Jeff, Jeff knows. You leave that in the players' hands yeah, to roll their own criticals. Hands. Absolutely. Yeah, Matt's macro is working really well for, <laughs> for him. Uh, but yeah, until then, we'll be back next Tuesday for some more Rhine Smash. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Tune in next week. Well, then they burn down the Carlisle estate. Uh, We're <laughs> off to Shanghai. Yeah, because apparently oh, that's the way this game is going. If we burn down the Carlisle estate, I am literally, I have guns. I will kill you. <laughs> you just shoot, shoot your way through the Carlisle estate. I am not afraid of PvP. I have played Alien RPG. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I did not expect uh, tonight to go down the way it did, but hey, that's part of the fun. Uh, Nor did I. <laughs> Have a great night. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you again next week, Tuesday. We're going to go out on our intro. Uh, see you later.